There's huge debate around the potential for these alternatives to smoking that are greatly risk reduced. And there's a lot of misinformation being put out globally uh, to scare people off them uh, and many physicians around the world are exposed to that misinformation and are believing it. We're now at the situation where the evidence is, is quite strong. We have reached a tipping point in terms of the evidence for e-cigarettes are one of the most effective ways to assist people to stop smoking. We know uh, from the Swedish example that SNUS works and the evidence is building now for oral nicotine products and the heated tobacco products. The problem really is this misinformation and the World Health Organization's uh, stance on these products that they do not want people to have access to them. What we are getting into now is the situation where you have some countries where we have regulated the products. New Zealand government has openly, is encouraging people, if you cannot stop smoking any other way, then please switch to vaping. They have a vaping facts website to address all of this misinformation that's being promulgated through the media and, and you know, direct kind of uh information being given to physicians and teachers and everybody. So the New Zealand government is actively trying to work against that and encourage people to switch. And the we really are at the stage that people standing in the way of people moving to these products are stopping the lives that will be saved. So the deaths will continue. And this is why it's so important to actually model and quantify the number of lives that will be saved. And that will not be saved if you stand in the way and if you stop people having access to what really are going to be life-saving for many, many people products.